Hi Gemini, welcome to my channel, Bruja Lily Tarot. Today I am doing your mid-September through mid-October money and career reading, okay? Let's see what we got here for you guys. You know, my rising is in Gemini, so let's see what messages we have here. Spirits, angels, guides, please give us clear messages for Gemini that is that are watching this video. What messages does Gemini need to hear with respect to money? and career. Thank you. I got the sense that you're doing a lot of communication, um, Gemini. I don't know. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you are or aren't. Um, it's a three card spread. Let's see what energy is at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, okay. We have the Page of Cups. And the Three of Cups. Libra also got this, this card in, in the same position. So if you're dealing with a Libra, uh, you may want to look at that. You don't have to, though. Just saying. Or if you have some Libra in your chart, that may um, be of significance. So the Page of Cups is about, like, uh, a new kind of emotional offer, a new kind of emotional beginning. And the Three of Cups is about celebration, coming together with others, enjoying your time with family and friends, okay? So maybe you're going to be experiencing like a new emotional connection with your family and friends, okay? Now that you're going to be um, perhaps reuniting with them and... Um, you know, celebrating with them in some way, right? Maybe you're going to have a new emotional experience and some, some new emotion to offer them, okay? Let's see what we got here. In the first position with uh, what is working for you is the tower, all right? The tower is about changes and sometimes abrupt changes. And mostly, sometimes we think of the tower as like something scary sometimes, some people can look at the tower as something scary because it really creates a shift and it really kind of, um, you know, kind of destabilizes anything that wasn't working, any foundation that was not working, it kind of destabilizes that. So it can seem as something scary and maybe not something you want, but this is in the position of what is working for you. So anything that wasn't working for you in terms of instability, that's kind of going away and it's creating this new change that's going to bring forth um, a new foundation, something new, something exciting, um, something that is just going to be built on a better foundation. Now, what's not working for you is the Knight of Coins, okay? So with the Knight of Coins, it's usually about some slow moving energy. It's very um, stable and it's very methodical and it's very deliberate. But at the same time, it's something that is very slow moving, slow moving. So perhaps for you, this slow moving energy, maybe you've made a decision about some way that you want to handle your money or you've decided, you know, maybe you're saving or maybe um, you've started something new, like a new business or something, but you're taking it really slow. So I think this in the position of the slowness aspect it's, is what's not working for you is what I'm feeling, okay? Maybe um, the pace needs to go up a little bit, but the methodicalness and the deliberateness and the stability of it is, is good. Okay, it's just I'm feeling like you need to pick up the pace a little bit more and kind of move things along a little bit faster. Now, what do you need to do next is the Four of Cups. Okay. Hmm. So with the Four of Cups, it's typically about looking at your surroundings and, you know, somewhat being dissatisfied with the surroundings and the offerings that you have there. So within the position of what you need to do next. I'm feeling like you need to look at what is being offered to you again, because maybe you have been offered something that you didn't think was good enough, or you're not looking at what was offered to you. Um, so I'm thinking that the next step for you 
is that you really need to look at this offer that is being given to you that you've kind of haven't opened your eyes to or you haven't acknowledged or you haven't um, embraced in some way because you're kind of in the past looking at how other things that you wanted in the past or other things that you had in the past how, how you wanted those okay so perhaps in relationship to money and career what this is saying is that you're still kind of looking at past things that you had it could have been with respect to money or with, with respect to a job but that now, you know, there is an offer right in front of you that you're not looking at. And with the four of cups here, it's telling me that you need to look at this offer because it's like right in front of your face type of thing. Okay. Interesting. Very interesting, Gemini. Oh. Let's see here. This card came out right away. Friendship. A friend needs your help, your kindness, and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. Pisces also got this. Okay. That one came out right away, so let's just grab another one for you guys. All right. Here we go. Uh-oh. Maybe I should not have. Uh, tough and trying times. Tough times ahead. Things long-term. Think long-term and make decisions accordingly. Avoid negative people at all costs. All right. Tough and trying times. Tough times ahead. Think long-term and make decisions accordingly. Avoid negative people at all costs. Yeah. So there's a friend who, want you, who wants you to reach out to them and then think long-term in terms of any decisions that you're about to make. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got here for you guys for the success oracles so what's working is that something what's working is that something is coming to an end here that wasn't working for you all right somehow i feel like you need to speed things along but at the same time you need to look at some offer uh that is in front of you that you're not wanting to look at for some reason okay and as I said, the overall energy here with under the deck is that you are going to exp be experience, experiencing like a new emotional connection with your family and friends as you hang out with them more. Maybe, um, maybe there might be more celebrations coming your way. Okay, lots of cups here, though. Page of cups, three of cups, four of cups. You're making some progression here. All right, let's see. <laughs> no way. Um, Aquarius just got this card. I just did Aquarius's reading and they got the exact same card. Okay. Whitney Wolfherd. To thine target demographic be true. Sex sells but platonic profits. Stay connected to how people connect. She is uh, the founder of Bumble, okay? Uh, she was born in 1989. She's very young. She's like 31 years old, but her Bumble company is already worth like a billion dollars. Um, and I guess she has a 70% increase in her business uh, each year. She is also the, if, you, if you're not familiar with Bumble, Bumble's a dating app. Um, but it's also a networking app for business, and it's also a uh, meet friends app. So it's got three different applications for it. She also was the one of the people who started Tinder, and then she all, she ended up like suing them, I guess, for some reason. But in her app, what's unique about it is if you do use it for romantic purposes, um, when you match with somebody on there, the woman makes the first move. So that's what makes her app different than like other dating apps. So it says, to thy target demographic be true. So that could be if you're in a business situation or, you know, trying to sell a product to somebody, you want to be true to your target demographic. Okay. Just kind of stay true to that. Sex sells, but platonic profits. So I guess the, the dating portion of her app, you know, does pretty well. But what does really well for her is the, the friendship and networking app. Okay. So then it says, stay connected to how people connect. 
Um, so, you know, as Gemini's, you guys, you know, you love to communicate, right? You love to talk to other people. So I think what I'm, what I'm thinking here is that you want to stay connected to how people are connecting to each other. Okay. Maybe you want to, you know, learn about other apps that are out there for some of you. Maybe that could be the message. Okay. Maybe you're going to learn about some new way that people are connecting. Maybe you're going to be looking on Bumble here to see if you can network with like other people in your business, um, or maybe even make some friends that could ultimately help you in your business. That's a, that's a possibility in terms of the message here for you. Okay. But overall, what I'm feeling is that, you know, what's working for you is something is kind of coming to an end here, but it's a good end. I feel because it's going to shake you up a little bit because maybe it's an unexpected end to something, but this, this is actually something that's going to work in your favor. Um, what's not working is this Knight of Coins energy. Again, I feel like uh, maybe you're moving too slowly into something and maybe you need to pick up the pace. What you need to do next is you need to look at an offer that's right in front of you that you might not think is valuable or that you don't want to look at or that you think it, it isn't a worthy option. I think this is saying that you want to take a look at that, okay? Uh, a message here for some about tough and trying times. Avoid negative people. Make sure you make decisions long for long term. And a friendship. So maybe a friend wants to reach out to you, okay? And needs your kindness and support. And also with this, I'm getting like, you know, again, that you might be using an app to maybe meet new friends or meet new business connections here, okay? Because maybe you're going to be coming in contact with other people and this is kind of like maybe you're forming new friendships in some way. All right, Gemini, that's what I have for you. Um, if you like this message, give me a thumbs up. Um, I would love it if you subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel grow. I am doing a giveaway for when I reach 3,000 subscribers. Um, so if you want to be part of that giveaway, drop me a comment that says 3K. Subscribe to my channel and that will automatically enter you. Good luck. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.